Aloha, hope you all are good and safe and happy. After this, you're gonna be happy. No worry, beef curry. Gonna be onolicious, broke them out. I know it's a lot of stuff, but once you prep everything, you just gotta throw it in the pot. And in fact, today is the shortcut way. The first time I shared this with you was about eight years ago when we were in South Korea and I made the dashi fresh. Nowadays, no more time. So I use ready-made dashi. cups of water. I'm soaking the shiitake mushrooms and the kombu. If you love tofu, you will love this dish. And if you like spicy, you all know I cannot handle spicy. So that's what's great about making this soup. Um, I can control that. You can make it as spicy as you want. I do recommend though using Korean chili pepper powder. It's very unique. I gotta find I gotta find one Korean friend who explain what's in here, but you gotta use Korean chili pepper powder. Also, if you want, you can add fresh chili peppers. Dissolve the dashi for me. I just use the kombu for flavor. If you want, you can dice it up and eat them. Tablespoon of miso paste. Onion, ginger, garlic. If you want, you can grate the ginger. I put it in there for flavor and take it out later. Just a little bit. About one cup chopped zucchini. We can always taste and adjust later. Don't worry, I'll write this down. Just a bit. Sesame seed oil. When the soup is done and hot, that's when I add two eggs and mix it inside there. Taste and adjust. Oh, nice. Wow, nice. Carefully, I gotta put this in carefully. Just a little bit. Like a tablespoon of kimchi. See him? <laughs> wow. Little bit kick for me. Very light, very flavorful. Wow. Oh, enjoy, be safe, love you guys. 